Hello, this is my next executive series video. Our topic today is design and development planning. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. If this is the first executive series video that you've seen, please go back and review the executive series introduction. Check out the video description below for links to any supporting information and a summary of the material that we'll cover today. In my executive series, we have a standard agenda which covers four items. You can see those in the progress bar below. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video to get those three bonus questions. Our topic today, design and development planning, comes directly from 820.30B and ISO 1345 section 7.3.2. Design planning in five words. Plan for safe, effective devices. Once you've decided that you're going to develop a medical device, you have to establish a design and development plan. That plan must cover all of the design steps within your design and development process, but specifically call out design reviews, verification, validation, and transfer activities. You have to highlight the activities and the interrelationships between the different groups and steps within the design and development process. You have to talk about how you're going to trace outputs to inputs. Your plan has to establish the resources for the design and development activities. And finally, the design plan has to be approved and then it has to be updated and re-approved as the design and development process evolves. How do I know this is working? Well first, our procedures define the requirements for design and development planning and we have a template that outlines the design plan that we need to approve. Second, all the groups involved with the design and development project, they understand their responsibilities and the interactions between the different groups and the activities. And then finally, as the design and development project evolves, the design plan is updated continually as you learn more as the project evolves and you get further on throughout the process. How do I know this is not working? First, your design and development plan is either not approved, it's out of date and not updated, or it just doesn't reflect the activities that need to be done during the design control process. Second, groups don't know what their responsibilities are or the interrelationship between the different tasks and the groups aren't clearly explained within your documentation. And then finally, poor planning leads to delays in your launch date and when you have significant events, say failures within the design and development project, the plan isn't updated to reflect those significant changes. Now for those three bonus questions. First, who approves the design and development plan? Second, how do we ensure that all design outputs are traced back to design inputs? And then finally, how do we define the roles and responsibilities and interrelationships between all the groups that support the design and development project? Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you have any questions, please send me an email at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained. Never stop learning.